KU fans of 20th century popular culture. What we have in front of us, what once was the most famous tailor shop, clothing designer of the 20th century, Nudie's Rodeo Tailors from 1963 to 1994. The clothing designer, sartorial genius, Nudie Cohn, he made the most famous suits of the 20th century seen on a lot of albums and uh, celebrities in the 20th century. And of course, if you grew up in the last 50 years, you would have seen them advertently and of course inadvertently. They're probably in all our subconscious memories. All you gotta do is see one and, and Google it and you know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, let's go over there. Okay, Nuri Kohn, his real name was Nuda Kotal Yarenko. He came to America in 1913 with his brother Julius to escape the pogroms in Kiev, Russia. He was a tailor apprentice, and when him and his brother Julius came here to America, New York, they bumped around, they were shoeshine boys, they were boxers. And luckily, like I said, Nudi, he was a, uh, a, a apprentice tailor. So he settled down, finally met his wife, Bobby, in uh, Minnesota. And he started uh, making a uh, uh, name for himself, making custom underwear for uh, burlesque showgirls in New York City called Nudies for the Ladies. And then they moved to uh, here in North Hollywood in 1940. They had trouble getting started. They were even using a ping pong table as a flat surface to cut their material. And at the time, he talked to a little known country uh, singer named Tex Williams to loan him money to buy a uh, sewing machine so that he could make his famous chain stitch embroidery. And, and uh, he needed that really bad. So Tex Williams said, sure. And uh, Moody told him in exchange, he'll make him free suits. So uh, Tex Williams, he became a walking uh, billboard. And then, of course, he got. He, uh, his suits got a known around town, finally got to Roy Rogers, Gene Autry, and then he opened up a shop uh, a mile north of here on Vineland and Victory called Nudies of Hollywood. And he opened that up in 1947, and that's the shop that Hank Williams went to to get fitted for his famous white cowboy suit with the musical notations. And in 1957, the Colonel went with Elvis to get fitted for the famous $10,000 LeMay suit that you can see on the 1959 album 50 million Elvis fans can be wrong and then finally got real popular more successful and they moved here like I said at the time as you can see this this frontage is new but it was actually a brown building in fact this is the way it looked with those type of alcoves right over here in the corner and it had a neon sign and it had two Bronco ponies up on each side here. And like this is the way it originally looked right here with those type of alcoves. And there were two alcoves over here where the most famous celebrities and stars of the 20th century came from 1963 to 1984 until uh, Nudie died at 81. And then Bobby, his wife and his granddaughter, Jamie kept it going until 1994. Okay, let me give you a rundown of the famous personages that came through this door. Like I said, in all these videos, if these walls could talk. Glenn Campbell. Jimi Hendrix. Elvis Presley in the 60s. Gail Evans. Michael Landon. Robert Redford. Janis Joplin, like I said. Johnny Cash. Marlon Brando. Ronald Reagan, Cher, The Rolling Stones, Elton John, Steve McQueen, Buck Owens, Hank Williams Jr., Audie Murphy, John Lennon was a big fan of the nudie suit, George Harrison, Eric Clapton, Graham Parsons and his Flying Burrito brothers, Chris Hillman, Chris Etheridge and Peter Kleinow, Robert Mitchum, uh, ZZ Tops, Bill, Billy Gibbons and Dusty Hill and you can see their nudie suits. On the Fandango album on 1975, Pat Buttram was a big fan of Green Acres. He wore the nudie suit all the time. In fact, Porter, uh, Porter Wagner 
He says he owns 52 uh, nudie suits and they fetch from anywhere from $11,000 to $18,000 when they go up for auction. And they're very high in demand, they're very rare of course. What with nudie being gone and Jamie and his wife, the wife, Bobby died and I think she died in 2004. Bob Dylan was a big fan. Uh, Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash. I mean, it just goes on and on. In fact, you can see a famous nudie suit, the famous Grant Parsons marijuana suit on, on his album, 1969 album, uh, The Gilded Palace of Sin. And that suit, they dubbed it Sin City after a song in that album. And you can see that the Grant Parsons suit, you can see that at the, at the Country Western Museum in Nashville. And uh, when when they went, when they closed the shop, they sold the two Broncos to that museum in Nashville, and then they sold the sign, the neon sign. It was spelled Nudies with a rope, with a cowboy rope, and they sold it to some collector in Melrose, some guy that owned the store in Melrose, here in LA. And uh, man, like I say, if these these walls could talk. In fact, they said that Grant Parsons, Bob Dylan, Glenn Campbell. They used to sit in the back with Nudie, Jamie said, and they drink Jack Daniels and they ser serenade the customers. And Jamie said, hey, that was okay because the longer they stayed, the more they bought. I mean, they, those were very expensive suits. In fact, he even had about 17 persons all expert in certain types of Western gear. In fact, this one guy, this famous uh, guy that made his shirts called, uh, his name was Manuel Cuevas. He was an expert on the shirts. And uh, another one factoid, James Dean came here to get fitted for the 1955 uh, movie Giant. And he was fitted for the famous jeans that you see him wearing in Giant. So even, even James Dean came here. I could just imagine when uh, Jimi Hendrix walked in here and Janis Joplin, wow. And uh, just countless celebrities of the 20th century, they walked in this place and hung out with Moody and he was just a real mensch guy regular guy even with all the money he had he was just a regular guy real generous with his time and his money and the children here in north hollywood he was always giving money to all kinds of uh of uh activities for the youth okay well like i said and one more thing you can see the famous gold lame suit that elvis wore on the on the album 50 million elvis fans can't be wrong in the gold hall at Graceland and he did also uh, for Robert Redford nudie they did the uh, nudie suit that you can see uh, Robert Redford wearing in the electric horseman 1979 so that's just a little factoid there okay well man I would have loved to have hung out here in the 60s and even lived around here just stood around and watch the most famous personages of the 20th century walk through that door okay well thank you for watching this video and uh please subscribe to my channel okay thanks a lot